Bonjour, this is Katia again uh, with another video with a cook with me. Now this time we're doing cow feet. Um, this is a, a Haitian dish that a lot of um, a lot of Haitian um, people love to cook. What it um, what you see here? It's already uh, my uh, my meat that's already pre seasoned. It's clean, of course, because you will not go to a Haitian household without, if they're cooking meat, that is not clean. So this one is already clean. It's already seasoned and everything. Now I'm going to um, put it in the pressure cooker so it can be cooked, uh, so it can be cooked, cooked, basically boiled. Stay tuned. It's fully cooked. The meat is cooked, so we're going to open it. This is how it looks like. All right. This is how it looks like. Nicely cooked. Mm -mm -mm. All right. So now. All right, guys. So I took the tomato paste and I put it in this pan, okay? So let's let it fry a little bit. Not fry, but simmer. You guys know what I mean. Okay. And I'll be right back. Alright, guys. So now, I'm putting the meat in the pan. Okay guys, so now I got my tomato, not tomato, excuse me, <laughs> tomato, tomato, right? All right, so I cut my potatoes with, um, um, with carrots and celery, okay? So this is how I cut it, this way, like this, and then the potatoes like that, okay? And then green onions with, with, um with onions okay my cilantro with my thyme um wrapped together and then right here this is my habanero pepper now what you see on the habanero pepper that's um we call that cloves we put that inside of the habanero pepper just because we don't want it to be um when once you eat the food that you won't taste the you won't you will taste the clove but you it will not you will not have take a bite of it if it makes sense all right so now i'm gonna put all of this in here okay i'm not gonna put the onions or the pepper yet okay because we want this to be a little bit cook okay so now i'm gonna add more water again so this is how it looks like. Once I've added the water, I added the potatoes, the green, uh, not the green onion, I keep on saying the green onion, sorry guys. Um, the celery and the carrots, okay? Now we're gonna cover all of that until it simmers. All right. All right, guys. So I like to pair it with um, rice, or if you want, you can eat it with um, whatever you want to eat it with. But I usually like to eat it with white rice. So I already put uh, my white rice is already cooked. So this is how it looks like. All right. So leave me a comment below if you guys would like me to make another video on how I made my rice in the pre in, um, rice cooker. All right. All right, guys, so now, all right, guys, so now let's put the rest of the um, pepper and onions in the food, okay, because it's almost done. Like I said, remember I told you guys from my last video that I like the little crunch into my onions. Okay. This is how it looks like. Nice and colorful. 
it's very good for the soul i could say i mean you don't really um have to eat the meat if you don't like it you don't like beef you can always drink the the broth because the broth is good it it helps you with um energy it helps you with if you feel weak um it has a lot of nutrients in there okay sorry i like to clean as i'm cooking i like to clean so don't mind me okay all right okay so now let's taste and see if it is good okay so this is how i'm gonna taste don't worry it's not i'm not gonna put the spoon back into the the pot i'm just gonna taste it to see if it needs anything else okay Mm, 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 mm. C'est bon pour la santé. All right. So it's almost done. And then now the hub you can eat. <laughs>